Jam from Glowy. So cool. Can you see it? It's like a jelly, like. I'm gonna use this Etude House foundation. I'm using a spatula today. Push to one side and you swipe down. So there's like an even coverage. I just wanna. It doesn't matter if you like go like this way or that way. Look at the difference. With concealer, this is my ooh, this is my favorite Kosas concealer. I heard because this is a clean product that mold grows in here, but my skin has not broken out yet. Kosas concealer. I'm gonna put it. Just where. I'm gonna put it like where I need a little bit of highlighting and especially my dark circles. Okay, concealer placement. I'm gonna go ahead and let the concealer under my eyes dry for a minute before blending it out. But on the rest, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out first. Okay, I'm gonna do a second layer just where the darkest part is I'm gonna use the leftover concealer on my sponge to conceal my eyes a little bit this is the Laura Mercier powder when using powder make sure you there's like an even dispersion on the sponge So you know how at first when you grab the product, it's like this, very uneven. You just want to tap it on the back of your hand so it evens out. Let's see. And that's how I like to set my face again. Even. Set. I'm going to dust off the excess powder and just put it on the areas I did not set. I decided that I wanted to do my brows. Let me show you guys a really, really cool brow product. It's this one by Unleashia. You twist it open, right? I'm going to brush it through my brows. Get some product in there. And then, if you, there's like a brush. So cool. I didn't even know until I was looking at their Instagram post. And I was like, wait. I was like, wait, they sent me that. I was like, oh my God, I have that. It has a brush on the end and I didn't even know. But yeah, I'm gonna just brush it up. So there's like some structure to my brows. I'm using this blush by Flower Nose. So so pretty. Like, dang it. Get some more. Put it right under my eyes. Let's just even out the base. I'm gonna first go in with this light pink all over the lid. The lower lash line too. I'm gonna use this darker pink right here. 
to put it like in this area the front corner like where the crease is and below also put a little bit on the outer corner outer corner of my lash line I'm gonna go in with these two and I'm gonna just outline my half cut crease blend that out Going with this shade and kind of smoke my bottom lash line with it. Just a little bit. I'm gonna use this deep gray purple just to deepen the outer corner. And now I'm gonna be cutting my crease using a tiny lip brush now that I cut my crease I'm gonna just set it with this pale I think this is a pink pale pink shade I'm just gonna set it Now for the fun part, we're gonna add glitter. I'm gonna use this super pretty purple shade from the Unleashia palette. I'm gonna also use it under my eyes. You can't really see it on camera, but it is so sparkly. I love it. I'm gonna use the same shade as I used to smoke out my bottom lash line to draw my agio star. Like you can kind of see it out like a natural one right here. I'm just gonna follow that one. Um. Okay, so when I smile, you can kind of see that I have like this fat under my eyes, right? But it's uneven, so I just follow. If I look down, I just follow what I already have. Like, there's a line. I'm gonna be using this Unleashia hot glitter. It looks like this. Wow! I'm gonna apply it with a q tip like this. I'm gonna just grab. A little bit you don't need a lot on the back of my hand to spread it out so I could have a precise placement of where I want the glitter but I just want it right here I'm gonna also put some under my eyes just a little bit I'm gonna use this can make one this is like a muted pink eyeliner. So the tip to keep your lashes curled is to curl them well. And basically I grab my lashes and like pulse it and then I like move it up like this. And I do it a couple times. Like this, right? And then I like go like this. I don't know how to explain it, but basically move move it like as you curl, like move it out, and then as you curl in, move it this way so it gets all the curls and it's a C curl instead of like straight up like this, you know? But yeah, 
Also, remember to curl your bottom lashes. It's the same thing, you just flip your lash curler and curl it. Like that's it, like, like your lash curl, flip it and hold it like this. This is how I'm holding it and curl it. I'm gonna use that same purple glitter and put it on the inner corner. Using the Heron Make Long and Curl Mascara, like really coat your lash as well. So when the mascara dries, it'll dry curled. It's just my eyelashes with mascara on. I'm gonna use these individual lashes. I'm gonna use two 14 millimeter on the outer corner, and then I'm gonna use two 12 millimeter on the inner corner. I'm gonna grab some lash glue. This one's from Dove. Let me see. You wanna grab one? Okay, then you want to like scoop a little bit so you get a little bit of glue. You want to let it dry for a few seconds so it actually stays. like that you also don't need a lot of glue like I don't recommend you to put a lot of glue you only need a little bit this is how it looks I'm going to use more blush. A little bit on the tip of my nose. And the chin. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb. So broken. So pretty. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.